Okay, so this is my um, monologue for week four. It's going to pick up where we left off <coughs> in the last week, looking at um, just my initial idea of turning the desk into an area for growing fruits and vegetables and composting. Uh, the fruits and vegetables side is linked towards mental health. So kind of getting people start eating healthy, healthy lifestyle, getting outside, growing their own produce, and uh, just kind of working from the start. And then the recycling part is coming, the composting part is coming into the <clears throat> coming into the environmental aspect of reducing food waste. So giving it a second life to use as fertilizer for your fruits and vegetables. Also for the environmental part, we have our the environmental aspect. We have our recycling of materials. And then so we have the evaluation. Um, in the previous one, I just I did a paragraph rather than an actual take the box kind of a thing. So just the evaluation for the exploration need finding, and then the idea generation checklist. And then the bottom right hand corner, you can actually just see the desk that I'm going to be working with. So moving on to this week, what I want to what I was where I'm at is my um, first problem statement. So. Healthy lifestyle, healthy active lifestyles can have a positive impact on students' mental health and well-being. Design and realize a sustainable artifact from recycled material to aid in food production and waste treatment amongst secondary school students. So the kind of key words that we dragged from it were healthy active lifestyles, students' mental health and well-being, sustainable artifact, and then like food production and the waste treatment of food. So I just kind of move on to making a mind map of all the keywords um, and then just kind of ideas that can come through it so waste treatment of food you have your composting using food as fertilizer healthy active lifestyle going outside caring for the garden hobby hobby generation really because just an active mind active body active mind uh, students mental health and well-being so eating eating healthy food rather than sweets and snacks kind of goes towards your brain food and a positive mindset then sustainability of your upcycling, adding value, sustainable development goals, which I spoke about in my previous monologue, and then food production, so like growing your produce. Then we just go on to our keywords, which is basically what's associated in the mind map. Then just analysis of the, of the problem, so what do I still need to figure out? So the footprint still has to be 450 by 450, so I need to figure out a way to make my steel frame to fit into this carbon in, into this footprint so then that I can actually move up and out rather than just have a wide base. Then the requirements of the problem are to promote healthy living and positive mindsets among students, be sustainable, aid, food, aid production of healthy food and have a designated area for the treatment of waste food. Um, this is literally only the first draft problem statement that I've come to this week. Um, it's going to change, I know it's going to change, it's, it's going to change for the better hopefully. Then you go on to the, still the analysis. So who's my main user? Maybe second level students. Uh, as I just researched online, just um, mental health in secondary school students, and I figure out that a third of students are experiencing extremely severe levels of anxiety and have a formal diagnosis of mental health difficulty at some point in their lives. This is a report carried out by the Union of Students of Ireland. Um, then just kind of key questions that that he needed going forward. So, is the unit going to be only targeted for schools, or can it be for home life also? Uh, what segments are going to be made using the recycled materials? So, because we have a ratio of 80-20, um, I'm thinking of for later on in my developed ideas having the top of it detachable. So, using laminates to make handles for the top to be detachable to be port portable around. Then uh, what giant manufacturing methods are going to be used? So uh, I'm thinking of recycling bottles maybe to join certain aspects and just heating the plastic of the bottle to fuse upon them together. Just because there's no real there's no real um, area of the brief saying that we have to use wooden, wooden joints. Then uh, can other recycled materials be used to line the inside of the unit? So I was thinking of using, um, this goes on, this is in my research. I'll explain later, just thinking of using cartons to line the inside. The main function of the unit is to allow students in school who may be suffering with poor mental health and well-being a chance to try and find a new passion or hobby. Give them a chance to go outside, look after plants that they are growing. If a student wants to grow vegetables for consumption, promoting healthy eating and a positive attitude towards eating 
clean, eating clean and growing around fruit and veg. Um, yeah, so it's literally just trying to promote this clean, clean lifestyle, so a healthy, act, healthy, active mind. Uh, targeting secondary school students with mental health, and you can just see that from my design idea. So each quarter are for a different area of growing. The basis for compost, everything's made from recycled material. Then just in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see my evaluation. So just the last part is research. So I looked up some similar existing products. So I just found a flower pot that was made out of an old school desk. Um, looks pretty nice, polished up well. And then just next to it is a vegetable box, a raised platform vegetable box. Um, that I just, I just researched online. So then following on from that, I just looked up the dimensions. So the dimensions of my desk are it's 40, 40 inches by 28 by 27. And then the vegetable box was 30 by 22 by 28, which is fairly similar. Um, then, kind of what common ways are helping promote mental health? So I looked up, there was a website called Healthy Kids, and it shared five tips that are acquiring a healthy lifestyle. Number one, being regular physical activity. Two, was choosing water as a drink rather than fizzy drinks. Three, linking to my project, eating more fruit and vegetables. Number four, again, switch off screen and get active. So getting, uh, getting them to switch off their screens and get outside. Be active, growing their own produce, looking after it, and eating fewer snacks and selecting a healthier alternatives. Again, linking to growing your own fruits and veg. Um, then there is research suggested that, we eat, that what we eat may affect not just our physical health, but also our mental health. One 2014 study found high levels of well-being were reported by individuals who ate more fruit and vegetables. Results from a 2010 uh, systematic review found two-way associations between depression and obesity, when the people who were obese had 55% increased risk of being uh, developing depression over time, whereas people experiencing depression had 58% increase uh, becoming obese. So it kind of they work with each other. So if we can tackle this from students that are in a second level grade, get them eating their own, eating vegetables, growing their own produce at an early rate, and in turn solving the environmental issue of your food waste, so getting them to generate their own compost, using it as its own life cycle. And this will in turn help them in just general good practice for the environment, recycling their own waste products at home. That's kind of where I'm at for this week's monologue. Going forward, I'll be going into the investigation and my developed ideas. Um, I think I'm on the right track. I'm happy enough with where I am at the moment. This week's lecture was very good in clarifying some issues that we had in terms of the in terms of the um, societal env and environmental issues. But uh, just from speaking to Connor in the lab, he seemed fairly happy, and I think I'm on the right track. So this Monday from my lab, I'll have material in, hopefully start processing it and be well on track. So thanks very much.